welcome back. Uh, in this video, we're going to be remounting everything else to the engine block. So we have all these torqued down. I have the uh, balancer hose connections already installed. I uh, went ahead and mounted the starter plate. Uh, so I could get these last two head bolts in and get everything torqued down. So, there we are. I've already replaced this hose. Uh, this hose will go on here shortly. I want to get a couple other things hooked up. We're going to go ahead and get our intake port cover plates installed. died which meant my camera died but in the meantime I have already added in the new hoses so there's a replacement hose uh, we got a new hose for right here uh, for the balancer for the uh, reed valves I believe this is a uh, bearing uh, balancer tube. I uh, went ahead and hooked up the one fuel line, this brand new fuel line, uh, to go ahead and connect up the carbs. And I got the carbs installed. Uh, both of them tightened down with new gaskets. Uh, everything's hooked back up. All right, next up we got the fuel pumps. I'm going to go ahead and rebuild these. The fuel pumps are really easy. Take out the two screws. You get your pressure. Pop it out, 
and I have to really push it. This one's down on the left. if you put the o-ring in first Snug them in on. Also, while I was off camera for a moment, I found that there was a whole other plate that needed to come off and a new gasket. So I got this one all cleaned up. Uh, I'll show you in the fast view of the, of the second pump. But uh, it, it'll have a gasket right there. Then you got your Cork gasket, diaphragm, cork gasket. And that goes directly on there. This plate will sit like that and it will mount up right there. So, the gasket goes on there
So I went ahead and hooked up the fuel lines. Um, little tip on this, uh, have your fuel pumps and carbs removed at the time you install the fuel hoses. These do not spin. Uh, the only ones that do are the ones that go on these elbows. Uh, these will free spin from the hose. Um, so the easiest way to do it, connect up this hose, uh, connect between carbs, connect this fuel pump, and then connect up to this fuel pump, and then mount them up, and it will be so much easier. I had to keep removing stuff in order to get it installed. Uh, I do have to wait on a replacement. This uh, replaced a, I guess, bad hose. Uh, so I don't have a way to hook this up to the fuel pump at this time. Uh, I ordered another one just like this. So I'll be able to have all the factory connections. Next, we're gonna go ahead and reinstall the starter. And get that mounted up. Starter is pretty easy to put into the bracket. Hopefully.
This is a keyed way. It will slip right on. And then on mine, the mark is right over here on the opposite side from this. So I can use that post that helps keep this centered and use that as my timing belt and slip it on there now another thing I don't have is a stator uh, it was a early 650 s uh, in which they had a few that didn't have a stator at all uh, we're gonna put this on this gear spark plug wires run through the brackets got the ignition starter flywheel is mounted uh, I'm starting to put on some of the brackets uh, the ship the throttle linkage for the steering cable or for the uh, throttle cable I had built a simple temporary stand I actually took the gasket and uh, marked out where the holes were. Uh, I was gonna cut out an opening for the exhaust cap, or the uh, drive shaft cap, excuse me. But my, uh, my tool did not want to complete it. Ended up breaking it. But not too worried. This works pretty good. Keeps it pretty stable. It's just got this little bit of movement. Otherwise, it won't fall over. So, we'll finish up the block here. So these are the timing and testing instructions for my outboard. Now on your timing adjustments, before getting it back in, uh, there's not a whole lot you can do, uh, but you can start off with your idle stop screw. Uh, how you wanna preset that, this arm right here needs to, when it's hitting the idle stop, uh, be right on or just a hair before hitting this arm on the carburetor and after you have that set up uh, where it stops on your spark advance and the primary finishes up you want this plunger right here at the back right there uh, to be just before hitting that pickup for the secondary pickup. So when you hit the uh, full throttle lever, it'll pull that back and open up the carbs. Now this is where you get your uh, throttle stop for your high end cutoff. So that's where that sits. It pulls back. So the power head is assembled and 
it's all ready to move to wherever I need it out of the way. Spark plugs are all set, torque in place, wires are ran neatly. Hoses that aren't needed right now kind of tucked away and I'm still waiting on that uh, fuel elbow should be coming in the mail here in the next few days I did go ahead and hook up the uh, connector piece for the fuel so that's all set to go it just has to be bolted into place on the uh, lower cowl uh, that's going to do it for the powerhead rebuild. We'll get this set aside, get the rest of the outboard finished, get this boat finished so I can get this everything mounted back together. So if you like this video, hit that like button. Uh, if you're not a subscriber, make sure to hit that subscribe link as well uh, so you can get notifications for my future videos. So until the next one, I'll see you. Thank you.